Houston Astros. Next up, it's the first year shortstop. Now it's belted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That one felt good. That's his fourth home run of the series. And they grab the lead. It's 2 0. Chris, he's homered in back to back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Here's Mauricio Dubon. A's leading by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Up the middle, and he can't come up with it. And he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And there's a foul ball. Man at second. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Dig hard, dig hard, dig hard. Going back. And it's off the top of the wall. One run is in. Get down, get down, Broke get down. Cut off to third. Not in time. He's safe. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Digging in for Oakland, Zach Gellar. On the ground. Now Tuve handles it. Throws to first. Now two away as they get a run across. It's so important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in. Hard ground ball, base knock. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Noda. Field two. Swing and a bouncer, Bregman. They take the force out, and that's the third out. Jose Abreu up to hit. Out to short. And that is that. One down. Gainer Diaz getting ready to hit. And a pitch. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. He is safe. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the shortstop at the play. Looking to complete the cycle with a double. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. Two down, nobody on. Popped up right side. Should have this one. And that'll do it. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. At the belt and fires. Ground ball up the middle.
plays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. On the ground, a short could be two. It's in and out of his glove. Runner in for third to extend their lead. It's 7-4. First and second, two down. And the batter will be the shortstop. He's already homered here in this one. This one driven deep, way back there, and it's gone! We are tied! He powers that one out of here. His second home run of the game, and they tie it up. It's 8-8. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate in my experience when you're looking out over the plate allowing the ball to travel it's pure reaction to hit a pitch here at the bottom of the ninth one out and now the first baseman one down now one down left hand hitter waits on the ground and now it gets into the corner here comes the throw Makes it to second. The winning runs in scoring position with one gone. Now it's the shortstop. So close. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Clearly didn't want to mess with them right there. So I think it makes sense to play the numbers game in this spot. Zach Gellar up next for the A's. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Getcher might want to go talk to him. Ball four, and a run comes in to score. So here's Brown at the plate. And the pitch. Swung on, belted. Dubon raging back towards the wall. Out of here, grand slam. His 16th homer of the year, it's 14-8. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Number 35 had a great showing in the win. A four-hit performance, including a pair of homers. I'll tell you, Boog, I was excited every time he came up. When a player is locked in like he was, it's a really special feeling. Great job in this one. Time of the ball game, four hours and three minutes. So up next, number 35. Warning track, wall, and you can touch them all, baseball man. His sixth of the series, it's one nothing. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on... Now it's the second baseman. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to short. Slings it across, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So two runs. First offering is fouled off. 
You know, these athletics just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today, so it's probably time crap. to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. These hitters like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Nope, that's foul. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 5-3. He's been so difficult to pitch against lately. It seems like no matter how you attack him, he finds a way to punish you. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Two outs, base is empty. Alex Bregman, the next to hit. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Here we go, the Astro. And a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball. The pitch. Gets a piece and it stays 0 2. Two out spaces empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. Foul ball still 0-2. Two. two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Fights that one away. And the count remains 0-2. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. ripped into left base hit so a two out knock keeps the inning alive well singy he is locked in there well he's really slowed the game down and it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind the way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball the pitch runner on the goal on the ground right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it so no run Here's the shortstop at the play. Golden opportunity right here. This one's blistered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And the A's jump in front. It's 7-5. That sound you hear is every writer in the press box smashing the delete button on their keyboards. Talk about flipping the script, Boog. This story was set up for a different type of finish. Now, who knows how to live? Unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, they've been putting together solid at bats all inning. They set the table for him, and he delivered big time to get him the lead. Huge momentum shift on that swing, and 
Now we'll see if they can hold on. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place and let's take that series again. From Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago, we bring you Friday baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And now, you're... So two down, and the batter will be the shortstop. Warning track. Wall, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A gigantic blast. His latest homer in an incredible season. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home run. Boog, that's like a cycle of home runs, and I know how much you love the cycle. He's absolutely punishing mistakes right now. He can't miss. Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boog, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a baseball that far, and it's absolutely... The batter, number 35. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. He powers that one out of here. His second home run of the game, and now they're out in front. It's 4-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Elevated fastball. Two outs, bases full. Colson Montgomery digs in now. Out to short. Base hit. One run in already. Here's the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Not much to that one is absolutely belted. It's gone. Grand slam. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 10-4. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Done a great job here of staying within him. One down. Here's the shortstop at the play. That's a laser base hit. Come on, find it, find it, find so it. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is. Moncada to Moose. That's one. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. No run. Man at first. Now it's the shortstop. Four for four with three homers and a single. There's a swing and a drive. And it go hits to, the go fence. To, go to. Indy around second, heads for third. The relay, he's oh, he in there. 
Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Zach Gellar up next for the A's. Two outs. Swings here and blasts one left field. Jimenez ranging back. And that one is out of here. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they tack on three. It's 15-7. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W.